Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is a really pretty soft bronze kind of eye look with a fresh coral pink lip and I'm actually using my new BH Cosmetics palette which I will link down below some more information about this palette but I'm so excited for this tutorial. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I think it's such a simple pretty glam look that you could wear during the daytime or the nighttime, whatever you prefer. So if you want to see how I go from the left to the right, just stay tuned. So this is my very own palette, the Shanexo palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, I'm going to be using it today on my eyes and my lips as an eye and lip palette. So first I'm going to start with my face makeup. This is the Master Prime Redness um, one. I can't remember what it's exactly called. I'll list it down below in the down bar. So I'm just applying this all over my face as my primer today. I'm also just applying a little bit of Revitalash before I forget. And then I'm applying my foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match and I'm using an angled face brush by XO Beauty just to apply this all over my face. And I did choose a shade that's a little bit too light so I ended up mixing a slightly darker foundation on top of it, just a tiny amount, just to kind of make the colour match me a little bit better. Next up, I am using the Stroke of Light by Bare Minerals. I loved this like months ago and then I kind of forgot about it and then I found it in my drawer again. I was like, oh, I forgot about this. It's amazing. It's such a brightening kind of product, like liquid highlighter, I guess. But I like to use it in conjunction with my concealer because it really brightens really, really well. So I put that down my nose, forehead and under my eyes. I'm also using a more heavy duty concealer just on any like acne scarring breakouts and stuff I have on my chin and forehead. And then to set my concealer and liquid highlighter under my eyes, I'm using this yellow powder by NYX. Um, I'm also putting it on my eyelids as well just to prep that area. And then I'm using a face powder all over my face just to set all the rest of the liquids down and make them last for ages. Next up, I'm moving straight on to my eyes. So first my eyebrows. I do have my eyebrows tatted on. Uh, eyebrows. I can't talk. Eyebrows tatted on, but I wanted them to look extra bold today. So I'm using my eyebrow brush by XO Beauty. Look how beautiful it is and then I'm just using this Chi Chi brow pomade and filling them in making them a little bit thicker and more bold for this look today I'm also using some eye primer this is stayed on it straight by benefit I'm putting this all over my eyelids and then using that same brush I used to conceal just on my eyelids to blend all of that out and then I'm using a blender brush and my face powder again and just kind of putting a little bit into the crease just to set that eye primer down and then I'm using my brand new palette and this really soft peachy orangey neutral color my blender brush ended up being dirty so there's a weird cast on my eyelids which is a fail I should have checked the brush first but oh well and then I'm using this dark burnt kind of terracotta color into my crease with a tapered crease brush and then taking a clean blender brush this time so I don't continue to put that weird bluish blackish color on my eyelids I'm just blending that out and then taking the middle shade which is a really soft bronze with an eyeshadow brush and popping that all over the eyelid I'm going back in with that terracotta color and just adding a concentrated amount to that outer V and a little bit more in the crease just to make the color a little bit more vibrant. And I'm also going to be putting that color underneath the lower lashes with a pencil brush. And then to finish off the eyeshadow, I'm taking a tapered blender brush and a fail. You can't see what color I'm using. This is just like a matte kind of highlight shade. Um, so I'm using that on the brow bone and then this middle shimmery shade on the inner corner. And then to finish off the eyes, of course, we're going to do liner and mascara. I'm using this hyper glossy eyeliner, which turned out to be a total mirror because it was running out and drying out and stuff. So my eyeliner didn't turn out too perfect but I tried my best so I'm applying that in a nice dramatic wing you could go no eyeliner or simple eyeliner thin eyeliner if you want it's totally up to you and then I'm using some false lashes on my top lashes yeah <laughs> and then just quickly before I do my mascara I decide to go with a deep brown eyeliner on my waterline so I'm just applying that on both eyes and then using that pencil brush just to make sure it's nice and blended and then the mascara I'm using today is the full fat lashes by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm putting that on the top and the bottom <laughs> 
for the face, I'm going to use Bronze 03 by Laura Mercier and a bronzer brush by So Beauty. And I'm putting this on my cheeks and under my cheekbones slightly. And I'm also putting a little bit on my nose and on my temples. And then I'm going to take a different brush. This one is a Sedona Lace Contour Brush and this um, contouring color powder. And I'm putting that underneath my cheekbones just to give my face a little bit more structure. And then for my blush, I chose this YSL warm kind of peach color. I'm applying that with the same brush just on my cheeks like you would normally apply a blush. And then I'm taking a shimmer fan brush and that middle shade that I used on my inner corner from my palette and using that as a highlighter. It's so pretty and metallic, so it works good, you know, multi-purpose. And then finishing off with the lips, I'm taking the middle shade from the top row, which is a really nice coral kind of pink, and this lip detail brush. And I'm applying a really small amount first with this lip brush and lining my lips and getting the lip line nice and even. And then what I'm going to do is press the color on with my finger afterwards. And this just makes it last so much longer and makes the color look really nice and perfect and pigmented and really pretty. So yeah, that's just like a little trick I've been doing lately. And that is the completed look. It's so fresh and pretty. I think it's perfect for day or night whatever you prefer like it's like a glam daytime look or a really nice soft pretty but still slightly dramatic nighttime look I don't know I would wear it either or I think it's really nice I hope you guys like it as well I'll put more information about my eyeshadow palette down below just in case you are interested in learning a little bit more about it I am so proud of it and I love every single shade in this entire palette so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up if you did and I'll talk to you soon bye I'm actually going to skip over to this hot pink colour just here. This one is so pretty as well. I love it. So that's what the hot pink looks like. Perfect for parties, perfect for nighttime wear, or if you just want to do a really bare kind of eye look, like maybe a nice light champagne eyeshadow on your lid and a really soft colour.